Week 11, day two then, and the two-year-old stakes centre stage. Today we're at three courses, we're at Doncaster, we're at Newcastle, and we're at Newmarket, and things will get underway at Doncaster with a racing post trophy, which is a two-year-old Group 1, and the unbeaten Ghost Zapper is the top-rated horse in there, but Darren Thompson's got Bay of Biscaya, which will be hoping to give the favourite something to do, and Paul Rose's Treaty of Santiago is also a decent horse who was disqualified last time out. Indian Blessing for John Morgan is another one that's in the mix, and we've got Uptown Funk making a debut for Timothy Sandyman at this late stage of the season. The second race at Doncaster is a seven furlong nursery, 0 to 90, and Silverhead for Martin Needham is the top rated horse in this race. Hellcat for Graham Clutterbuck, that was a winner last time out. And we get to handy two pens. Blue Prey for Sirius Chill, also in a bit of a case of second itis with that one, went second in his last two runs, and Sirius will be hoping that that one can go a little bit closer today. Then we'll be off to Newcastle for six all weather qualifiers for the final going to come up in a couple of weeks time and then after that we'll be to headquarters and new market for three big two-year-old races and a handicap the first of the two-year-old races is for the fillers it's the chiefly park stakes over six furlongs and lafayette for steve ran is a top rated one in that race with enchanting goes for john morgan powerful beauty for molly at surfer master soprano for paul Rhodes, and bhutan infante for vinnie gerard all looking likely winners of that one should be a pretty good race we'll then take in the one handicap the new market meeting and it's a two mile one furlong handicap for older horses this looks pretty close as it's a naught to 75 Night Swimming is top rated in at 75 and Derek Hinton should be hoping his good run continues with that one but Constable for Carla Aragante and the ever consistent Duck Swoop for Stu Gray will be in the mix and it's always a folly to ignore Darren Howes or Graham Clutterbuck in these long distance races and they've both got representatives here with Stony Miss and Break Point. We'll be back to the two year olds then for the Middle Park Stakes. This is for Colts over six furlongs for the small field. But a pretty select looking one with all of them having some good form so far this season. Volos for Darren Thomas is the highest rated. Zoom, zoom, zoom for Joshua Sutherland. Also looks pretty good. And Shalar for John Morgan. Hasn't managed to get his head in front of his last four runs. But he's still looking like a pretty decent sort of horse. And then we'll end day two of week 11 with the Dewhurst Saints. Which is a seven furlong event. Espiritu for John Morgan is the highest rated here. But smash the zoom. For Joshua Sutherland, Molly Eight Steps. For Molly Eight Sir, for the River for Darren Thompson. I am Kira for Hans Jones and Magic Marvel for Django. I've all won recently and could well be giving that top rated horse plenty to think about. That's it then for day two. We're back tomorrow with day three.